Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. This is part two. Didn't really need to make or mean to make one, but somebody watched uh, my first video and they gave me another clue with the window key and the V. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hold down the window key, the S key and the shift key at the same time. And you get this right here where you can make a, if you wanna send this to a customer. Now, what he, and not only can you do that, uh, it'll do this too. If we want to take, well, let's make it a different color. Take away the outline. And if I just take it with the pick tool and control C, which is copy. Now, if I hit the window key in the V, look what happens. It brings up the last couple of things I copied. Even, I didn't even have to, this is called snippet. Even without snipping it, I made a copy of that circle. And what I think is pretty cool about this, if you want to go and open a new page and you window key V and you want that star, all you have to do is click on that star and you have that star on another page or another item. So window plus the shift key plus the S key will give you that snipping tool. So I'm going to do it one more time. And let's say, and there's some freehand, uh, there's window and full screen. If you want to take a picture of your whole screen. So we just took a picture of your whole screen. Now let's go Windows V and there's my whole screen. That you could save as a, and the reason for this is you could save it as a PDF and, and then send it to somebody. And then of course you could always delete it. But so let's just do one that we would email. Let's say we wanted the customer to look at this. So I'm going to window shift, window key shift S and get this. And then I could take this. Of course, you'd want it without the bounding box. And then you could right click. Well, why didn't it tell me to save it? Let's try that again. Um, let's do it without the bounding box. Window shift S. Grab it. Well, you know what? It will not work while I'm running my video. I'm recording a video, so it just won't work. But it'll come up with a prompt that you can save that as a JPEG or PDF. And then you can send just that to the customer, and they won't see all your other stuff on your board, and especially if they don't have Corel Draw and can't open Corel Draw. Anyway, so I thank that viewer or subscriber for giving me that little tip, and thank you for watching.